What is happening YouTube? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic and we're going to be looking at a, uh, a more recent release, not oversized, not technically an omnibus, but we're going to be looking at Abe Sapien Dark and Terrible Volume 2. Um, this is the second of three collections we'll be getting from Dark Horse. Um, of course, hardcover, um, pretty thick. Mike, Mag Mike Magnola doing uh, writing, of course, and I think it's the uh, Fiumara family, and then of course Dave Stewart doing coloring. Um, yeah, uh, let's look at the spine here. This one, if you guys remember my first volume, I had a really deformed spine, um, a dust jacket anyway, sorry. But uh, this one came in, came in normal, you know, came in normal, so that's good. Um, yeah, there's a little quick synopsis for you guys. I haven't read this. Never read this series, so I apologize. I won't have much to say about the uh, the content itself. Looking at 35 US, 46 Canadians, it collects volumes 6 through 8 for the uh, trade paperback equivalents. But let's get this dust jacket off. Alright, keeping it simple. A little silver on black. Feels good. Let's take a look at the spine. Good stuff. The back is blank. But uh, yeah, let's dive in. I won't be, uh, probably won't be saying too much just because I have no idea what this book is about. A um, little description about Abe Sapien himself there. The creators in there. Got an intro by, uh, I believe this is probably by Mike. I know it was by Scott Alley. Um, yeah, I will say one thing though. Uh, the Mignolaverse, Mignolaverse, however you pronounce it, is, um, in my opinion, one of the best uh, comic book universes, especially if you're looking for a completely different, I'm uh, not completely different, but a very different style of uh, storytelling. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, can't complain about the artwork. The Fiumars are phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal team. Um, and, yeah, I love me some horror. I love me some thrillers. Um, if any of you guys love horrors and thrillers as well, I highly recommend Now While It's in Theaters, A Quiet Place. Incredible movie. Incredible flick. Um, I absolutely loved it. It looks like here you get some uh, character descriptions as well in between chapters, so that's kind of cool. A little history. Um, hopefully I'm not giving away too many spoilers. I don't even know what a spoiler is at this point. Um, so I apologize if anything slips in here, but just going to look through the artwork. Take a look at the binding. Nicely done, as is with most Dark Horse books. You get a great bang for your buck. Um, high quality paper. High quality storytelling, of course. So let's get to the, uh, see what kind of bonus content we're talking about here. Look, oh, it looks like a pretty solid chunk. Oh, incredible. Okay. Um, okay, so, yeah. A lot of concept stuff, cover sketches, art progress. Wow. Oh, it's super cool. A lot of neat stuff back here. Um, if you're a fan of bonus content, this is great. Wow. Talk about getting a look at the creative process. A lot of Max's, uh, Max Fiumara's design work here. Awesome, 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 awesome. Wow. Wow. Anyway, guys, um, again, can't really speak much to the story here. I've heard mixed reviews about the uh, the series overall, but I have faith faith in the universe, faith in Mike, uh, myself as well, I guess, since I am Mike. But um, anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you've read this series, let me know what you thought below. Again, I have heard mixed reviews, so I am curious to know what you guys think. And um, if you're going to pick this up, let me know too. I'm very excited. Maybe we'll do a little readathon thing. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see what happens. Looking forward to the new BPRD hardcover, which should be coming out anytime soon. May have already come out, just not on Amazon. But before I start rambling about releases, um, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comment. Um, for people with requests, I have heard you. I have heard you. I have read the messages. I've written down the requests on my list. I'm trying to find a more comfortable way to do, especially sets, if I'm doing an overview of multiple books, trying to find a more comfortable way with a tripod, maybe a different camera entirely. Um, so please bear with me. I have seen all the requests. They will come. Thanks again, guys. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. And as always, until next time, you stay classy, Internet.